If you want to sell basically anything in other countries, there are three relevant activities that you need to know about. One, how to prepare and engineer your product for cost-efficient and fast cultural adaptation. Two, how to make your product appeal to foreign markets. And three, how to convey your message and content clearly in another language. These three processes are called internationalization, localization, and translation. Here's how it works. Let's pretend you're the developer of a mail app. What kind of icon would you give it? Mailboxes look different in every country and even within individual countries. If you wanted to use a mailbox as your icon, you'd have to use a different icon for each country. This would cost a lot of time, money, and it would hurt your brand recognition. The more elegant solution would be to use an envelope or a stamp, both of which look the same or similar everywhere and are easily understood. This is internationalization, often stylized as I-18N because it starts with an I, ends with an N, and has 18 letters in the middle. This term describes the process of preparing a product on a developmental and engineering level in order to sell that product in other countries with minimal adaptation. Localization is the cultural adaptation of a product to appeal to audiences in different countries. These adaptations are generally made with regard to religion, politics, sex and gender, idioms, gestures and body language, and emotions. That's exactly why Disney, in the Japanese version of the movie Inside Out, replaced broccoli with green peppers. Unlike American children, Japanese children love broccoli. In hindsight, they probably could have internationalized this scene by using peppers in the English version to begin with. What kind of kid likes green peppers anyway? Translation is the rendering of a written thought from one language to another. This is a more complicated task than it might sound, and it definitely shouldn't be overlooked. If not done right, the consequences can be tremendous, leading to everything from wrongly implanted artificial knees to being put on death row. Translation includes a number of complex disciplines, such as glossary and terminology management, translation memories, machine translation, editing, proofreading, and transliteration. The four most importance lies, firstly, in being conscious about these topics and making informed marketing decisions.